Without its missiles, a fighter jet stands as an empty vessel, a mere whisper of its true potential. While the jet itself possesses speed, agility, and advanced avionics, it is the missiles that extend its reach and grant it the ability to strike beyond visual range. They provide the means to deliver devastating blows to hostile forces, disrupt enemy operations, and maintain air superiority. There are many different kinds of missiles, each with its own unique set of advantages in battle. Such as anti-ship missiles, standoff attack missiles, air-to-air -air missiles, and precision-guided munitions. For a combat aircraft, its main enemies are air-to-air -air and surface-to-air missiles. To avoid being shot down by air-to-air -air and surface-to-air missiles, aircraft use tactics include evasive maneuvers, electronic warfare, chaff and flares, stealth technology, jamming, and cooperative engagement. However, there are some missiles that can withstand even the most extensive defensive measures taken by the fighter plane. The Meteor missile is an example of one of these types of missiles, and the Indian Air Force is now planning to install it on their Sukhoi 30 fighter jets. Similar to the BrahMos missile, which is regarded to be the ultimate supersonic anti-ship cruise missile in the world, the Meteor missile is considered to be the best air-to-air -air missile. The Meteor is a beyond visual range air-to-air -air missile of the next generation, developed by MBDA to meet the requirements of France, Germany, Italy, Spain, Sweden, and the United Kingdom. The missile has a range of over 120 kilometers. Think of it more like an air-to-air -air cruise missile rather than a typical guided air-to-air -air missile. It's got this unique propulsion system using a solid fuel ducked engine, or as we call it, a ramjet. The interesting thing is that it can actually adjust the engine power during different phases of flight. Unlike regular missiles that burn at full throttle the whole time, the Meteor can modulate its energy delivery. Now, this might not seem like a big deal, but trust me, it is. Imagine a situation where a fighter jet is engaging an enemy aircraft at long range. The missile is launched and initially, it needs a burst of high acceleration to quickly close the distance. The Meteor's engine can provide that initial boost of speed to catch up with the target. But then, as the missile gets closer to the target, it enters a mid-range engagement phase. At this point, the Meteor's throttle capability becomes crucial. It can reduce its speed and conserve fuel while maintaining sufficient energy to continue tracking the target effectively. This allows the missile to extend its range and stay in pursuit for a longer time, increasing the chances of a successful engagement. Now, let's say the target suddenly performs evasive maneuvers, trying to shake off the missile. In this high-energy maneuvering scenario, the Meteor's throttle capability shines again. It can quickly increase engine power to match the target's maneuvers, maintaining optimal performance and increasing the chances of a successful interception. India is already using it on their Raphael fighter jets. It was purchased as part of a weapon package for 36 of these jets. However, despite the Indian Air Force, and Hindustan Aeronautics Limited's best efforts. The European developer of Meteor missiles has refused to allow the missile system to be integrated into India's LCA Tejas and Sukhoi 30s. Because both these fighters use non-European fire control radars. Interestingly, MBDA supplied the Osram missile for integration on Indian Jaguar aircraft, upgraded with Israeli ELM ESA radar. But European government restrictions are limited to only the Meteor missile system. However, this may soon change as India plans to install its own UTAM ESA radar on 150 Su-30 MKIs. I've made a video about the UTAM ESA radar, which you can see on my new channel.
This UTOM radar will also be fitted into the indigenous Tejas fighter jets and other Indian air weapon systems. With the introduction of the new radar on the platform, the Indian Air Force is hopeful that the European manufacturer will not have the same objections as before. With the Meteor missile, the Indian Su-30s would gain a significant advantage in beyond visual range engagements, enabling it to engage enemy aircraft from a safer distance while maximizing its kill probability. The Su-30's agility and maneuvering capabilities allow it to outmaneuver and evade enemy aircraft, making it difficult to be targeted. When combined with the Meteor missile, which offers exceptional range, speed, and guidance capabilities, the Su-30 MKI is well-suited for interception missions. It can rapidly respond and intercept incoming enemy aircraft, providing a formidable defensive capability. During an engagement, the Su-30 MKI can utilize its maneuvering capabilities to position itself for an advantageous firing solution. Once in position, it can launch the Meteor missile, which is capable of sustaining high-speed flight and making trajectory adjustments to intercept targets even during their evasive maneuvers. On the other hand, the Tejas fighters, with its compact size, agility, and advanced avionics, can benefit from the Meteor missile. The missile's superior kinetic performance and active radar seeker enable it to effectively engage and neutralize enemy aircraft at extended ranges even against highly maneuverable adversaries. Therefore, the integration of the Meteor missile onto multiple Indian fighter systems, such as the Tejas MK-1A and the Su-30 MKI, will help to the enhancement of India's capacity to maintain air superiority.